But this leads us to an important question. How does one actually move the CSF? What causes CSF to move in the first place? Many people have asked me what causes the cerebrospinal fluid to move. My theories, in addition to the ones that we're going to go on, are any sort of parasympathetic activity such as rest, meditation, craniosacral therapy, massage, movements such as dance, exercise, yoga, vibrations such as sound and light, visualized intention, and love. Given the potential that CSF is activated by light and sound, one of my business partners and I created the Metatronics Vibrational Medicine Light and Sound Machine depicted here. Essentially, Meta is beyond, Tron is subatomic particle, so it's beyond the subatomic particle beyond form, a machine that works on the energetic levels and vibrational levels prior to form. So what causes the CSF to move from a, what has been shown in the research? Sleep has been shown to move the cerebrospinal fluid through the brain tissue. Well, the research shows that the heartbeat has been shown to move the cerebrospinal fluid. However, one of the major drivers of CSF movement is our breath. This is an MRI image of the brain. And in image D there, you see that is the image of what is enlarged in, in image B. That is an enlarged view of the third ventricle. Here is a series of pictures depicting the CSF flow, which is the bright spot that you see coming into the third ventricle during forced inspiration. This depicts one inspiration lasting 2.5 seconds. So it'd be something like this. 